everyone so I hope you all had a great weekend and everything and I want to just apologize if I look a little bit weird I did my makeup in about five minutes today I didn't think I was gonna have time to film and I had you know when you've kind of planned out your day and then things just keep happening and it doesn't work out how you wanted it to today's been one of those days but um, I also know that it really annoys people when women apologize about how they look and it's not that like you know I would apologize to people in real life but when you're putting it on the internet for thousands of people I kind of I feel like I want to kind of always be the best, not the best, but be my best, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to get this video out because it's a little haul video and I wanted to use some of the stuff that I bought in this haul video. So it's pretty much all from Superdrug, some are from Essence, um, which in the UK, I don't know if you know this, but we stock it in Wilco's. So I'm going to jump right into it. Um, it's kind of a bit of a mishmash, there's some sort of essential things that I repurchase all the time, some things are kind of um, things that I have never tried and just wanted to. The first thing is this shampoo and it's the Tresemme Deep Cleansing Shampoo, cleanses and removes build up, which looks like this. And I really struggle with my scalp, kind of, I, it never used to be a problem but in recent years I've developed a really sensitive scalp and I need to use kind of deep cleansing products quite often. And I've tried lots of different ones, the Tony and Guy one for men I really like, Head and Shoulders doesn't work for me. Um, so I'm kind of always trying different ones and I think I saw Mrs Ginger Beauty mention this and she said she liked it so I thought I would pick it up and give it a go. Um, I haven't used it yet so I can't tell you what I think about it and generally I'm not a fan of Tresemme but I will give that a go and see how I like it. Um, then I'm going to just do this in really random order because there's all sorts in here. I picked up my go-to eye makeup remover. You can use this all over your face. I do sometimes but it's not kind of my go-to product for that. But it removes eye makeup beautifully and it's the Garnier Simply Essentials Soothing 2-in-1 Makeup Remover. Which looks like this. And I love this. It's one of those duo phase like the... Um, not Bioderma, what's it called? Like the Lancome Biphase one. You kind of shake it up on a cotton pad. It's very, very oily, but it removes our makeup beautifully and just works really, really well without you having to tug at your eyes because I hate that. Um, then speaking of cleansing, I also bought this, which I haven't used before, and it's the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Facial Cleansing Oil. Sorry, the bag was slipping. And it looks like that. Now, L'Oreal used to do a different version of this, I believe, um, which looked, so it was like a square bottle like this, but it was orange, and I think it was part of the same range as the um, micellar water that they do. They don't seem to do that one anymore, so I figured I would just try that, and usually I buy the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Oil, but this one was in Superdrug, and it was on offer, and I thought I'll try that one, but the Body Shop one is my favourite, and what I do is I take my eye makeup off with a Garnier first, and then I go in and do kind of all my face makeup with an oil cleanser, and then I'll kind of just use whatever cleanser I'm using to actually cleanse my skin. Um, then I've got two products here from the same range and they're from the Clearly Youthful range at Superdrug which is a really really good range. I think maybe I should do a video about kind of affordable skincare ranges as a whole because Superdrug actually have some really really great ranges and this one uh, is particularly good if you kind of like um, exfoliating sort of acid type products. So I've got the Clearly Youthful um, all Day Shine Control Hydrating Day Serum and the Resurfacing Night Serum. I am nearly out, so you can't see these at all, can you, because of the ring light. I've got to say, I'm not in love with my ring light, it's awkward. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to hold them here for you and then I'll show you what they actually look like in the package because I haven't seen. But I'm um, out of my nighttime serum that I was using. I was using the Boots Botanics. Um, all bright serum which was alright but I wasn't in love with it so this is what it looks like comes with a little pipette and these are so inexpensive they're like three pounds on offer full price they're about five which is still crazy cheap and then the day serum I want to see what this will be like um, because I'm using the L'Oreal skin perfection which I love but I just fancied to try something different so we will see what this is like um, I don't know what the texture of it will be like though if it's one of those quite liquidy ones I might not like that in the morning but we will see how I get on with those two um, then I think everything else in here is actually fine let me get the bag oh no nail polish remover this is super boring isn't it it just 
nail polish remover. I'm not particularly picky when it comes to nail polish remover, but I do go through it very quickly. Um, then I bought these two from Essence, which are necessary repurchases for me, and they are the oil control blotting papers. I actually have a slight panic when I am running out of mine. And I know that makes me sound like a crazy person, but I use them so often. I've got really, really skin. I hate topping off on powder all day because it just makes your face look really cakey in the end. And these just work really, really well at making your skin matte. Um, and they're really inexpensive. They're like £2.50, so a couple of those. I always buy a few when I see them as well because I usually run out when I'm kind of out and about and I don't remember that I've run out and also they don't always have them in stock which yeah um then I bought this lip liner because I believe this is a colour I don't have from them and it's called satin mauve or mauve depending how you want to say it but it's a kind of nice mauvey nude colour haven't used it obviously but I just wanted to see maybe it would be a nice dupe for mac uh, max saw so it's that colour right here but I thought it could be. It looks a little bit browner than Saw, though. Um, then two nail polishes, just repurchases again for um, the Essence Gel Base Coat and the Gel Top Coat. They don't kind of make your nails gel in that traditional sense of gel nail polish, but they give a really lovely shiny finish and they help your nail polish last really long. I really struggle with, I like to have my nails a little bit longer but my nail polish chips so easily when they're longer, like I did it last night and I can already see the chip and it drives me mad but that's the top coat I've got on over this nail polish and this is the Sally Hansen um, Complete Salon Manicure in Blue Rose which I'm on right now. And then two things here, one's actually not from Essence, I was wrong. I bought the Essence um, Dry, Express Dry Spray, so kind of like nail polish drying setting spray, I haven't tried this, just fancy trying it and thought I'd pick it up. Um, and then my go-to eyeliner, this finely bit the dust, and it's the Revlon Skinny Liner, and I am going to actually open it. I know, I know, it's not going to open things with the teeth. Um, but just to show you why I like it so much, this is what super job drive me insane with. How like, it doesn't need to be so impenetrable, it's just an eyeliner. But, yeah, that's what the packaging looks like. And it has got a really, really thin brush rather than a kind of nib. So you can get really, really close to your lashes. So you can see there, it's super fine. You can get really, really close to your lash line, flick it out really easily. It's just a really good, easy to use eyeliner. I don't think I would have ever picked this up as well. Um, I remember a few, well, I think it was last year, um, I did a video kind of a full face of Revlon makeup and the PR for Revlon sent me this to try out and I've loved it ever since. I've run out and I've repurchased it. I tried to use other things I had in my collection but I missed it so I repurchased it. But that's everything for my little haul. It was kind of a bit of a random haul, wasn't it? Like necessarily boring repurchases like shampoo and then some more interesting things like skincare. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back on Thursday with an empties video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.